Back in Syria, Hadil Awis was an active leader in the struggle for free Syria. She was arrested multiple times, spending no less than 52 days in prison. In 2011, when she decided her safest option was to flee the country, she was smuggled into Turkey and eventually landed in Switzerland. She was granted asylum in the United States after receiving pro bono representation through the organization Human Rights First, arriving in Maryland in 2012. She joins us now from Washington, D.C. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Take me back to those days of first days of protest in Syria. Did people feel like, although this is a more multicultural place, like this was Syria's version of the of the Arab Spring? Yes, Syrians started their uprising peacefully. They were marching in streets, calling for freedom, and I was among them. I was one of them. I was a, a student in Aleppo University. We didn't know back then that the Assad regime would be that brutal against his own people. We didn't know that ISIS, like foreigners, will come from other states and establish their so-called uh, Islamic State in Syria. Uh, uh, I was arrested due to peaceful protesting, as many of my uh, secular fellows, Syrians, and there were a gap, and it was filled by radicals who came from other states and established their their, their Islamic state, the so-called the so-called Islamic state in Syria. Um, when you look at what's happening in Syria now, what do you see? Sorry. When you look at what's happening in Syria now, what do you see when you see this massive flood of people trying to get out, trying to escape what you tried to escape? Yes, it is It is very, very sad what's going on in Syria now. People didn't know that going to happen, all, all of that to them. It started really peaceful um, uprising and now it's horrible. The country is almost destroyed. Uh, hundreds are fleeing the country every day. We have already uh, more than 12 million displaced inside and outside Syria and there are more flowing of refugees every Every day now we have Russian airplanes striking randomly on people so Syrians are in a desperate need for for help like politically and hum on the also humanitarian level yeah. uh, hundreds are fleeing every day and we need help Hadil just very briefly now tell me what it means to you to have been able to find safe haven here in the United States I'm, I'm very thankful and happy to do. I'm just alive again. I was almost dying in Syria. I was in danger. I was threatened by Assad regime to be arrested and maybe uh, killed under torture, like a lot of my my fellows. And then I found a safe place where I could uh, study again. I'm at college now. I'm doing uh, programming. I have a little daughter who was born here in the United States. I'm married. I'm living safely and I'm, I'm very happy to live in this country that doesn't categorize people into black white Christians Muslims and I hope that um, Syrians can uh, find it and make it safe to to America to start from right. the beginning Adil Awis thank you so much for taking the time to tell your story